What the hell is up, everybody? A little dimly lit video today, huh? Well, it's kind of shitty outside. Anyway, what the hell is going on? Mario Kaleo, this is From Grateful to Greatness. How in the hell is everybody doing? Happy Monday. And every video, as we all know, starts off with me being thankful. So, I am thankful for my friends, my family, my girlfriend, everybody who follows me on Facebook and Twitter, all of you for taking the time to watch this video, and God and the universe for allowing your boy another day on this planet to talk to yo asses. How are you? It is Monday. Um, I'm looking outside my apartment window. I live I live in a fifth floor. Yeah, you you old school if you get that reference. All the way on the fifth flow. Um, and it is really shitty outside. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Today, I want to talk to you about impatience. And I want to talk to you about the fact that I am one of the most impatient people you'll ever meet in your life. When I get my mind set on something, man, I, I just want it to happen so badly that, man, I just can't take it sometimes. And it got me to thinking, um, you know, there's that old, there's like a saying that's, that's been said a bunch of times and I want to kind of talk about it, which is, you know, you, you messed up your health within all those years and now you want to, now you want to fix it within a few weeks. All right. That kind of applies to everything. You know what I'm saying? Like. I published this book, and then my impatient nature wants the whole world to have it. I'm, I'm like, okay, come on, man. We got to get everybody to get it. We got to get everybody to get it. And when it doesn't happen like that, I get frustrated. Last night, I was a little frustrated. And I was sitting here, and I was pissed off. Not pissed off, but just frustrated. And then I reeled it in. And I started to say to myself, man, you're an asshole. You're being a real asshole. Same way like when I lost weight. In, what, a good decade, I completely ruined my health. I drank like an, a laid-off pirate. I smoked like a laid-off pirate. I smoked like crazy. I ate myself to almost to death. And I did not work out at all. And I put every major life decision on hold because I did not want to take anything serious. And that was a decade, guys. Ten years. Ten years. I <laughs> flushed down the drizzane. And when I decided to get my health back together, when I decided to get my life back, I didn't give a shit how long it was going to take. I just figured whatever it takes, whatever it takes, I'll get it done. And... When I would feel those impatient moments, I just said to myself, dude, you're being an asshole. It took you 10 years to ruin your health and now you want to fix it in 10 weeks? You don't get that kind of, you don't get that kind of luxury, man. As long as it took you to ruin it, it might take you that long to fix it. Same thing goes for your goals. You made mistakes. You've had mass massive setbacks. You've put things off for years. And I get it. I get it, honey bunch. I get you. You just picked up this goal right now and you're like all amped up and you're full of energy and you're full of mo motivation and you're pumped up, right? And you're focused. And that I think is the problem. It's good that you're focused. It's good that you're energetic. But at the same time, you got to understand something. You're pumped up right now because a big change is happening. You're pumped up because a new day has dawned, right? But guess what? That dream of yours, that goal, is probably going to take just as long to achieve as it did to screw everything up. And you are an asshole if you think otherwise. I'm an asshole when I think otherwise. If you are being impatient and thinking everything is not coming to you fast enough, you're being an asshole. Your goals are going to take time. I swear it's just like a damn house, man. A house ain't built overnight. Unless you've got a, 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 a crazy-ass fucking 50-man crew or something and nobody gives a damn about eating, sleeping, or taking a piss. But that's ridiculous, right? You don't have that. It's like building a house, man. It takes brick by brick by brick by brick by brick by brick by brick. And eventually, boom, you look up and you got yourself a structure. You got yourself a house. It's kind of more like building a skyscraper, to be honest. A house takes a lot less time to build. 
and you gotta you gotta furnish it. You gotta put the put everything in there that goes pipes, electricity, drywall, whatever, flooring, all that shit. It's all connected, and then boom, the dream is a reality. But it takes time. It takes years. It takes a long, long process of being patient, driven, and focused. And I understand sometimes you get frustrated, you get impatient. You want to see this thing happen so bad, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. That's a good thing. You should want to see it come to fruition. You should want to see that goal happen more than anything. But to take it out on yourself, to, to, to make yourself, to, to down yourself, to make yourself feel bad because it hasn't happened yet, that's not fair. When I do it to myself, it ain't fair, and it's, it's not fair when you do it to yourself. You're being an asshole. You know, bottom line is... Every day that you take steps towards that goal is a day you deserve credit for doing what other people aren't. Every day you take a step towards the dream is another day you get that much closer to the dream. And every day that you take a minute, an hour, or whatever time out of your day to focus on fixing your life instead of keeping it the way it is or maybe making it worse is a day you deserve to give yourself credit. So on this Monday, on the day we all feel down usually, do yourself a favor, don't be such an asshole to yourself. Give yourself a little bit of credit. You've come pretty damn far, and you got a whole lot farther to go. But that's okay, be patient, because you'll get there. I promise you that. And that's it for today. I'm about to eat my oatmeal. That's where the phone's propped up against. And, uh... Boom, guys, you know what time it is. Remember, all you need is a start and some heart. Peace.